Hey, hey, what's going on, fellow Photoshop enthusiasts? Strap yourselves in because right now we're going to learn all the practical applications of Zoom in Photoshop CC. So, once you have an image open, simply press and hold control and then repeatedly press plus and you'll see that you're zooming in on the picture all the way to the pixel grid if you wish to. And then you can press and hold control or command on the Mac and minus to zoom all the way out. Now, I want to point out two things. The first is, when you're doing control plus and control minus, it's only zooming in on the center of the picture. How does that help us if we want to, let's say, adjust something on this gentleman's left ear? Well, we can accomplish that easily by zooming in on the center and then holding down spacebar and clicking and dragging. And if we click and drag, we can make our way over to the ear and adjust whatever we please. If you feel that's too zoomed in, simply press and hold control minus and it will zoom out. Now, if you want to go back to the way you were originally viewing it, or what I refer to as home base, press and hold control and then zero. And it will always take you back to the way you were originally viewing it. Now, I want to point something out, and this is a question I get often. What in the world is this number right here? So you'll see if I'm zooming out, that number is changing, 25%, 16.7. If I'm zooming in, it's 200%. If I go to home base, it's only 35.3%. What in the world does that mean? It's actually very simple. This is the relationship between the screen pixels and the image pixels. So if you ever wanted to view the image at one screen pixel for every image pixel, you can press and hold control and then press one and you will be at 100%. But I digress. Let's take a look at the actual zoom tool in Photoshop. So the cool thing about Photoshop, if you hover over any of these icons, it does a relatively good job at explaining to you exactly what it does and illustrating it and providing you with the keyboard shortcut, which in this case is Z. So in order to use the zoom tool, let's click Z and now we're on the zoom tool. Now, we have a little lens here with a plus. Let's say we wanted to zoom in on the right eye of this beautiful girl here. We can click and hold, and we will see that it's zooming in on her eye. So it's no longer the center. You can choose what you zoom into. But now, let's say we wanted to zoom out. Well, in Photoshop, if you press and hold Alt, it typically does the opposite action. So we'd have to press and hold Alt, and you'll see that the center of that lens turns into a minus so this is selected now so i'll let go of alt see it's the plus so it's for zooming in press alt and now it's the minus for zooming out so while you're pressing alt now click and hold your mouse and it will start zooming out here's a really cool tip that's going to save you a lot of time and by taking shortcuts in photoshop they do add up so i definitely recommend using this let's say you're using the brush tool and you want to go and zoom in on something while you're using the brush tool, you can press and hold Z. And then if you click, it will go to it. Now you still have to keep pressing it. If you let go, it goes back to the brush tool. So you don't have to switch between things. Rather than click the zoom tool or press Z, you can hold Z and it temporarily goes to the zoom tool. And you can press and hold Z and then Alt and you'll be able to zoom out. You let go, you go right back to the tool that you were working with. So now that we covered some of that, I want to show you a very, very helpful way to use the zoom tool. But before I do so, I have to shamelessly market myself. I am a photographer. Please follow my Instagram page, Promo Ambitions. You'll see a lot of Latin dance photography, entrepreneurship stuff, and even some really nifty dance videos. Okay, so getting back to it, let me show you the really cool way that I use Zoom. 
Go ahead and go to the window drop down menu and select Navigator. That's going to show you this screen here. And this is awesome, guys. You can move this to the right or to the left to zoom in. And it's showing you exactly where you're zoomed in, which is super helpful because you can click and drag this here. And whereas before we were blindly navigating around the picture, here we can see exactly where we're zooming into. So let's say I wanted to go to the Frida image. I can pretty much just navigate to it and I could see it on here. I don't have to remember where it was on the screen. The other really cool thing is you can press and hold control or command on the Mac and you could select and drag with your mouse and it will automatically go to whatever you selected and drag to. And this is super helpful. It will save you a lot of time. I use it all the time. It's one of my favorite things to use when I'm working with Zoom. Remember, to get back to home base, Simply click control zero and we are back at home base. I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment in the comment section. I'm always eager to learn as well. So if you know some tricks that you feel is helpful for others, please do share. I hope this helped answer some of your questions about the Zoom tool. Subscribe to the channel because I'm in quarantine currently and I'm going to be putting out a lot more Photoshop tutorials. Love you guys. Stay safe, cozy, and productive.